Hello and welcome to Train Twins Lobology. You are tuned in to season two, episode six. Hi, baby. Hey, honey, how you doing? Hi, viewers. How you doing, viewers from all around the world? Um, it's been a lot going on with us as always. We uh, just celebrated three years, our three year anniversary. We did. Had a wonderful time doing that, and we also just had our engagement party, we did. which was just fantastic. We had a ball. We did. I, I know a blast some. I know some. Of, they, I'm sure they saw pictures. Yes. Saw pictures, pictures online. on Facebook. But it definitely pictures didn't do compare. For, yeah, pictures does nothing for what, how much fun we had. Did not compare to the people that we had there and how much fun we had and laughter. Um, you know. It, it, it was a good time. Yeah. Food, drinks, and friends, and, and true love. all night in some real genuine friendship and love. It was wonderful. Once again, we want to say a special, special thank you to Ro and Raquel for flying in, um, surprising us. I mean, these last folks, minute, last friend, minute, they they traveled, surprised us, and left right out the next morning after the party. Yes, yeah, so that's real friends. Yeah, big shouts to you Coming guys from the Baltimore area. But they actually weren't even home. No, they weren't even home. They were on business trips. Business trips, trip, separate cities. Yes, and then flew in to come to our engagement here in Atlanta. So much love going out to you guys. Um, definitely. And, of course, everyone else who put hard work into preparing the party and Tony, Epitome. Thank you, guys. My BFF from Fort Lauderdale. She drove up for the party. Yeah, China. Everyone, My you guys. My Snoopy Pie, Epitome. We had a, we had a great had time. Had it unlocked. It was wonderful. Thank you, LaVon, for always holding it down. Boy, I wish I could put some of those clips on here. We might yeah, just do we that. Had we some, don't know. My daughter recorded some of the funniest <laughs> times at that party. And yeah. when I tell you there would be some blockbuster hits, mm. they would go viral from, from yeah. two people just hitting on the laugh. Yes, it was, it was, it was a, a good fun. time. A lot of fun. Marie and Damon, as always. Oh, God. Tonight's the night. <laughs> tonight's the night. Those are the class clowns. Yeah, inside no where we go. But, um, you know, as always, uh, we have some great feedback from our previous session. Yeah. And um, feedback from our questions, too, right? From our questions and from our, yes, we had a, we had a lot of feedbacks. So uh, we're going to go right into that. We have a lot to cover tonight, um, a lot of some relationship. Really, really deep, deep stuff tonight. Love questions. I mean, it's crazy. Some, some stuff that makes you almost tearjerker type yeah. questions. Tonight. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, this really just shows how much. Our show has developed over the less than a year. We yeah. haven't been doing it. We haven't this. even had a year yet. Haven't even been doing it for but what, six December months? December will be a year. So, you know, it just really shows the growth and the trust that our viewers have in us, you know, to send these, these send in these types of questions. So we're going to lead right into our feedbacks. And this is coming from one of our YouTube viewers. Um, the username is uh, Nikki, Nikkei2120, I believe it is. And it's a comment on one of our videos from episode um, three, season two, episode three, part two or four. I don't ever think that it's okay to you to you someone. And if the girl is treating you bad, then you need to let her go. And may and it may take you changing your number and getting away from her if she can't contact you. She can keep popping up. She can't keep popping up. And this is again to an um, in regards to a. Uh, video that we did a segment on how to you know just cut your ties with someone who's not good for you so thank you for that comment Nikkei 2120 YouTube viewer go ahead babe. Uh, next one is coming from this is YouTube also yes Sheila Betts I think it says hi YouTube you read my comment that's what's up it's great to hear from you all again I'm looking listening to your latest post right now Thank you both for continuing to share your knowledge, opinions, and comments and experiences with us. Right. Thank you so Thank much you for that. Thank you for being a viewer. Yes. Thank you so much for following us. And as always, guys, we truly appreciate the love. Don't, don't forget to um, subscribe to our channel yeah. because then you get our videos right away. As soon as they upload, you get them. You get them right away. Even if it's 2 in the morning, it comes to you. Yeah. Okay. So definitely go ahead and subscribe. We're trying to build our um, following. So we really appreciate the support. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Uh, the next comment is coming from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. It says, hello, I'm no longer a Lobology virgin, <laughs> LOL. Let me just say, I love you guys. In all caps. In all caps. I just watched every show from the intro to this one. Wow. And it was great. You remind me. You too. You two remind me of my wife and our relationship. 
you just don't see that many happy, genuine joy from God, lesbian relationship that are not ridiculed with drama. I know without a shadow of a doubt that Tiffany, that's her wife, and I, my name is also Tiffany, wow. are soulmates even when people tell us we haven't been together long enough. One year and counting. Whatever. But anyways, I could type on and on. All I want to say is keep it up. I really enjoy one Lord, one life, one love. That's sweet. Thank you so much for that, Tiffany, too. Thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany Square. Tiffany. Yeah, no, right. I appreciate that. Uh, we have a couple more comments, guys, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, address the question that we posed to you guys. So, um, baby, you want to read okay. the next one? Our next one is, hello, Trey and Tanya. I first want to say I know you all are probably very busy with your own issues, etc., so I don't want to trouble you with mine, to be honest. I happened to run across your videos by accident a few weeks ago. I noticed that some of your videos showed up on the sidebar next to one or two of mine. I remember thinking... This is interesting. These are like so not the same topics at all. Yet, in my curiosity, I clicked on to hear what the topic was and discover you two were lesbians discussing life, love, and everything do. else. That's how we and do. And that's what we do. That's what we do, baby. <laughs> okay. That was nice. I have to say I have watched a few of your videos over the past few weeks, and I find you two to be very loving, and I actually admire that. I admire that you two love each other, not that you are women, not that you are gay, but all I can say see is the love between you two. And I believe that this is what God called is for all of us, and that is love. Awesome. You got awesome. that That's right. Absolutely. I, I appreciate this comment. No, I truly no do. doubt. It's nothing but genuine love between right. the two of us, you know. Oh. That's true. Between the two of us, and that's not going to change. That's not. For nobody. It's, it it, it naturally flows. Yes. We don't force anything. We Absolutely really do not. love each other. And this is how it, it is. It is not a facade. We're not trying to show off and, you know, Please. keep up with the Joneses of who's who, who's dating who, the popular couples. With, I mean, who are so the Joneses? Not that. Who are the Joneses? I don't know. Right. I hate that saying. We're so not that. Keep up with the Joneses. This is what what you see is what you get. Home, out, no matter where we are, we we, we receive and show the same love. And you know, the great thing is that um, people that we come across, friends or even strangers, um, thank you, baby. Uh, they just tell us they see the natural glow. They see just how much we care about each other through our interaction. And like my baby say, what you guys see out, what you see us on this video is how we are. Uh, when, when the cameras start rolling, this is still how we this are. This is how we are. You know, so it is what it is. This is Trey and Tony. That's why we are the lobologists. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have one more feedback, and then we're going to go into our responses from our audience about a question that we asked you guys. Um, it says, TNT, in reference to the stud on stud, oh, Lord. <laughs> <sighs> I feel that we in the LGBT community have to stop oppressing our own people. Freedom and oppression cannot coexist in the same environment. Either we are seeking freedom to love who we want to love without the gender and role constraints, or we are not. I love you both. P.S. My honey and I are doing much better. Question of daisies in my bed or roses. We are committed to each other, and she agreed with that. I said, I said that. But she, I said, she agreed agree with what I said, said after seeing your segments. segments. Thank you. I know exactly. Appreciate the love. You know, this is one comment that I ran across, and I know some people think that if they send in their comment and we don't particularly agree with it, that we're not going to say we're not going to put it up here. That's not the case. You send it in, we take first come first serve basis, and we put it on our show. Yeah. And like this individual said, you know, we need to be able to love who we want to love, but what what I was saying, what I was voicing on that segment is my choice yeah. is not to date another stud. And as individuals, everyone should respect other people's choices. Exactly. Okay, so I, I was... On exactly. Always. I just wanted to clarify that. Um, maybe let's roll right into this. You better come on because I'm here and start sneezing again. Shit, her allergies is cutting up, folks. So okay. I sneeze, sorry. Now, last, last episode... We ended our our, um, our episode by asking a question to the audience. What should you do when so-called friends, they break the trust, the, they break the bond, they, they just break everything down? 
and then some time passed and hey what's up I'm back let me in should you do that and we posed that question to the audience mm -hmm. you our audience and wanted to get some feedback on what you thought of that so these are some of the responses that came in babe um, you can go right in and just read them and then we'll just close it out with how we feel about it all right okay the first one says you will always wonder if history will, will repeat itself by looking at the world we live in today it's a fact that it does okay and that's from one of our YouTube viewers um, another one says <laughs> sorry this is funny another one says hell no you don't let them back in if they ruined your trust that's it it's ruined it was serious enough to put you out it's serious enough to keep you out respect and loyalty mean a lot to me if I trust you enough to put you in the category of friend you should feel the same way you can forgive all day long and try to rekindle things but believe that whatever happened for you to stop associating will always remain remain in the back of your head I believe <laughs> now, that. Now, that's right. I believe that. Man. I believe that. What? We're going to keep going. We're going to keep going on that. Here's another one, babe. The next one is, you definitely should forgive. And once you have forgiven, do not waste your positive energy by talking about it or bringing the issue up again. However, being that you will never forget, this person should not be let back into your circle. Being that you have forgave this person, it's okay to speak when this person is in your presence no negative faces, remarks, or gestures made. This person will then definitely know that there is no longer a personal spot in your circle and you all are good with that. Unfortunately, the people that did the backstabbing did not pass the test of being a true friend for life, my personal opinion. I love that. Okay. I love that. That's cool. That's cool. I love that. And, it, and, and I think it continues. Oh, it's the same person? Yeah. Now, if you decide to let the person back in, Will they truly know and appreciate good friends? Good genuine folks are sometimes hard to come by. That's true. That's definitely true. And here's the last feedback um, in regards to that question. It says, in answer to you guys' questions, I feel that as you forgive, then as you forgive, weigh your pros and cons of this person's returning to your life. Also, you have to ask yourself, are you able to handle an emotional letdown if this person repeats history? Hmm. Thank you, guys. And it was some other comments as well. We just, you know, based on time constraint, we, we really can't um, put everything on there. But um, these were the first ones that came in. And so what's your opinion? So we My, my opinion, opinion on that is, I mean, we've thought about this long and hard. And I always allow people to be themselves. I always give them trust from the beginning. Now, that means... If I'm letting you into my space and I'm trusting you, you need to maintain that. Once you break that trust, it's almost impossible for you to get it back. And it depends on the the level, you know, of, at which you broke the trust. I mean, if you told me that you didn't take my knowledge that was on my counter, but you really did, that's different versus going around bad mouthing me, talking about me, but you know, but friend. you're supposed to be a friend. There's a total difference. There's a total difference in the level. So for me, I think I say it depends on the circumstance. Circumstance, and, and I'll leave it at that. Okay. Well, I'll piggyback off that a little bit. I truly agree with what my baby said, and I've been in this situation on several occasions. And one because I think me being, you know, one of the leaders of the community here in Atlanta and the mother of a family. And I've had as little as five members all the way to as many as 40 members of my family. And some of those folk you grow, you grow really close with mm -hmm. and you have a special bond with each individual on different levels. And you give some more trust than you give others. However, um, once that trust has been broken, I truly believe it's hard to get it back. And you will never trust them to that full extent ever again. Mm -hmm. And it's like you're almost holding them, you know, at this certain level that they can't get as close to you as they used to be because you don't want to be hurt again. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, letting for people back in once they've hurt you or broke your trust and they were supposed to be a really good friend to you, um, I don't think it would ever be the same, but I think you can be an associate to that person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you see him in passing, you know, we might have some outdoor conversation, but coming to my house, having dinner, having glasses of wine and sitting down like we used to now, mm -hmm. I don't think that would be the case again. You know, and... And that's unfortunate. It, it is unfortunate. And, you know, I guess what bothers me the most, baby, is that 
it's like when when folks break your trust or friends i can't say folks when so-called friends break your trust or, or 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 you know just really hurt you in a way a lot of the times instead of coming back and saying you know there was a there was a a a, a breakdown i want to discuss it i, I want to rebuild our relationship they feel like they can just walk back in and just say hey let's go to dinner yeah, it's supposed to be okay. and never address it yeah that's a problem that's folks. a problem you can't move on and build without a good future without yeah. addressing what the has issues. occurred. That's a big pet peeve of mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Lay it all out on the table. If there's somebody you genuinely want back in your life, you really do. You have to come straight like from the ground up. Lay everything on the table. Be sincere in your conversation. Be apologetic. And be honest. You know, stress how much you care about this person. Friend or loved one. It doesn't matter who it is. Mm -hmm. But you got to be wholeheartedly genuine when you do it. And yeah. if you don't, you can't come back and be like, well, at least we can speak, or can we, you know, hang out a little bit here and there? No. It's not going to be the same because you're coming back wrong. Right. So you, you can't do that, man. Yeah. But anyway, guys, you know, thank you again for the feedback. And everyone has their own opinion on this matter. And we appreciate the viewers that did send in theirs. You are watching Trantoyans Globology Season 2, Episode 6. We're going to take a quick break and we'll Very be right quick. back with our questions. Peace. Deuces.